a hot day, destination, Bilbao. Stage five of La Vuelta. Well, on stage four into La Guardia, Primoz Roglic had gone into the red jersey, something that had been shared amongst his team since the race began. A modest advantage of 13 seconds as we started to ponder what lay ahead. Well, a much bigger distance of 187 kilometres and some of the big names were wondering whether they might indeed dare to dream of being part of a breakaway which was bound to form. There was a tailwind, time to get the picnic ready because this was going to be a battle. Well, it was a high paced start, 50 kilometres per hour for the first 45 minutes. That tailwind added to the impetus and at the end of the day a loop circuit including the Vivero climb to be taken twice. The intermediate sprint coming late, it was the finish line. Bravest of all, Marc Soler. He bridged over to an already well-established breakaway. 18 riders pushed on. Teammates Rudy Mollard and Jake Stewart for Groupama Francis de Jure. First task well done, but they had to see off the challenge from Fred Wright if they were going to steal the red jersey from Jumbo Visma. Meanwhile, another jersey, the Polka Dots, was in the mind of Langelotti from Burgos BH. He duly took as many points as he could during the day, and it was enough to lead that standings by the line. Lawson Craddock, the American time trialist, was also in determined mood, constantly ebbing and flowing. He was to make the steal the first time over the Vivero. Angelotti close at hand. While well, they came into town, the intermediate sprint was of no consequence. The fans, though, were screaming, as they usually do. So passionate in this part of the world. Passion is one thing, but determination and efficacy is entirely another. Jake Stewart pushed on leaving Rudy Mollard to just trace Fred Wright in that battle for the red jersey. In the end, Jake was to suffer cramp late on and it wasn't to be, leaving Rudy Mollard wondering whether he could snatch the red jersey. Soler had other ideas. He was struggling at first on the first passage over the Vivero, but then refound himself, bridging over to Stewart and pushing on. Setting a gap that we wondered, would it be bridged? It seemed so tenuous, it seemed inevitable. The chase on the final descent into town was spirited. A gap of over four minutes back to the peloton. Jake Stewart out of contention. Mollard tracing Fred Wright and Soler up the road. The gap trimmed at its shortest down to six seconds. But Soler believed he attacked. He continued to pace home. Meanwhile, those behind him were wondering about the duty of chasing him. Fred Wright didn't want to be anyone's fool, but in the end they stared each other into the abyss, and Soler was to make it home. The sprint ensued, and behind Soler, as he had time to celebrate, it was to be Darrell Impey that crossed the line behind him. Third place for Fred Wright, Rudy Millar in fourth place, ahead of Lawson Craddock. Arndt, Langelotti, the new king of the mountains, Pronsky, Mulberger, Adria, and then we waited for the peloton to join the party. The atmosphere, exceptional here in Bilbao, an exceptional winner as well. Soler, usually on duty, of course, for others today helped himself. A four-second margin was nothing to him. It was all about the stage win. And the jersey lent, of course, but for how long? To Rudy Mollard. Peloton coming in five minutes down. Mollard into red. And tomorrow, everybody, metaphorically, will be in the red as the serious climbing begins. For now, Rudy Mollard leads Fred Wright by two seconds. Fred Wright himself going into the young riders' classification lead. And in the polka dots, Angelotti.
Fred Wright, thank heaven he had some consolation after missing out on the red jersey, something he'll be targeting surely deeper into this race. And so the climbing continues and gets an awful lot more serious. Picojano is our destination. And just look at how tough this finish will be. Lots of mountain points up for grabs. All the jerseys could be exchanging hands or indeed held tightly. We shall see.